RuPaul was among the stars to host the farewell party to perhaps the world's most famous party palace, New York's legendary Studio 54. Although the nightclub has not been a dance club for several years, that did not stop hundreds from stopping by for one last dance. The building where the club now stands is being torn down. In its heyday, Studio 54 was second to none. People would wait online for hours to dance the night away. It was the place to be and also to be seen. But now, Studio 54 is history. Doug Johnson has more on last night's last dance. They tried to capture memories last night, the last dance at Studio 54. The disco mecca of the 70s has been closed for years and it's about to be gutted. But for one last night, Studio was remembered. From the Kennedys to... Uh... The Muscle Beach crowd, it was a home mixture, and everyone just gathered and they danced. If the walls could talk, it would be amazing the stories they would tell. Studio 54 was the sort of place where you almost had to be there to understand what it represented. It was a bridge between the question everything 60s and the want everything 80s. Everybody wanted to come here. Anyone who was anybody did come here every night and stay all night. Jelly Bean Benitez started here as a disc jockey. He spun a few last night just for old time's sake. Now a record producer, he remembered the influence this place had on the music business. Uh, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor was a B-side to a song called Substitute. And it was played here first, and then the record broke out of this club. This song made Gloria Gaynor a success, and she came back to sing it again last night. RuPaul was too young to be part of the original Studio 54, but came to raise silver wings. And Cher was there. She only lip-synced one song, but she was there. The night raised $100,000 for Amphar to fight AIDS. Cher dedicated the night to one of the founders of Studio 54. In my mind, I want to dedicate this night to my friend Stephen Rubell, who's no longer with us. But it was the reason that I came here the first night that it opened. In 1977, a young Elton John was a regular here. So was disco diva Grace Jones and Olivia Newton-John. Many of those who made this place famous are gone. Most of the others didn't show up last night. But for a moment, Gloria Gaynor made studio live again. At Studio 54, Doug Johnson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Fun while it lasted, and the plans are to turn the Studio 54 building into a virtual reality arcade. Covered this video of Cher with a bad